Tim. Don't want the umpire to decide this grand final. Gardner the tap and the uh, path of Jones to Dawson back to Jones. Now on the left boot to half forward. Reeve sets himself sandwiched between a couple of cats. Desperate stuff from Montagna. Not the ball to Taylor. In right to Kelly. Oh, Ambitious little kick comes off to Corey to Blake. Fancy handball over the back of the head. Finds Wojcicki who's got the leg speed. And he takes on Jones. He was tackled as he bounced. Oh. Free kicks and killed her. Huge effort from Clint Jones. Wojcicki was nearly out. And if he had it got through, he would have got through by about 50 metres. Jones got a hand in. Top decision. As Jones goes back 15 metres and finds Clark. I've got to ask though why it's a free kick. Wojcicki was, was playing the game and um, I know the rule says it is, but it doesn't make sense. Here's Revo and the Saints are a chance. Oh. Dempster. Dempster wide, another behind. And the margin is three points. Even the scarves are tightening around necks at the moment. Eric Banner, Michael Klim there. Famous St Kilda supporters. Uh, one goal. see their team in front by three points. One goal in 15 minutes of play in this final term. Melbourne drives it long and a <laughs> ripping mark. <laughs> terrific mark taken by Gary Ablett. Well, Jones thought his teammate was going to contest it. That's why he didn't spoil. And he takes on Jones on the mark and is successful. Kicks to Burns, who waits for it to bounce. Burns has got the foot speed. And then he's legged. He'll get the free kick. I think uh, St Kilda will be happy with that free. Pulls him up. Burns shorts it to Scarlett. He'll go short to Chapman. Missed the target. Fisher somehow got it to Ray. Now Ablett again, just willing the ball forward. Hawkins ricocheted off his boot. Picked up by Gilbert. He's tackled by Burns. Montagna heads for the boundary line. That was deliberate. But the umpire surely can't penalise it. Oh, yes. yes, he can. This umpire can do anything for us. You saw that in the second quarter. It's a free kick to the Cats. Inside 50, no Mark Varco. Picked up by Fisher and a clearing kick, but for how long? Mackie read it pretty well, so did Corey. Kick went nowhere much. Bartell. Bartell in the clear. Long ball. Mooney with the sit. But Dawson did enough. Ottens. Rook in there as well. Saints defence like men crazed. And they force a ball up, but it's in a dangerous spot. Well played, Zach Dawson. We've been critical of him at times, but Mooney had a good position, good sit. He got a hand in. What pressure now. St Kilda by three. Otten's a hand on the ball, no result. And he'll do it again. Luke! Come on. Eight minutes left. And the game could Kick hang back. on one wobbling kick that finds its way between the posts. Lenny up again. Down to ball. Bangs it clear. Not a great result. Corey Enright centering. Oh, Graham. Somehow the ball found him. Ball in trouble though. Cat still pressing. But it's hard to crack that defence. To see oh, Gary Ablett lurking cut. around this contest, cut. he is the land for me that I would be getting over. You'd be blocking Clint Jones out the way. See if you can clear a path for Ablett. Quick kick out of the pack. No, it's not. A goal, it's a point to Chapman. <laughs> it's St Kilda by two. How's the tension in this stadium at the moment? Gardner off King on for the Saints, who apply the short option. Gilbert, untidy kick. Mackey knocks it back, but uh, that wasn't a good result either. Ray, now two on two in midfield. Schneider the spoil. Corey with more height. Schneider diving in. Corey made it a tug of war. Montagna puts St Kilda forward. Kaczynski didn't mark it. Milburn under the first tackle. Got it off to Kelly. Oh, didn't know what to do with the kick. Changed his mind. And the Saints are a chance here. Del Santo to Goddard. And now they have two men loose. Schneider the first of them. Milburn closing. Now little Milne in danger territory. That's a pretty good Very kick well. to Revolt. Couldn't hang on. Virgo for the Cats. Taylor for the Cats. And Geelong get off the hook. They wriggle off. Del Santo though keeps it alive for St Kilda. Ablett kept his feet when all about him were losing theirs. Gives Corey a chance. Varco running for him. Has 
the southern wind now, and this is a chance for the Cats. Travis Farco, time to think about it and do something methodical. That wasn't it. He has another go and he puts it out on the floor, and an opportunity is lost. Should have kicked it long first time. Yeah, but yeah. hindsight's wonderful. So Saints have it at half back. Graham has played a wonderful game and he spots up Goddard, who drills long, looking for King Ottens. Big fly, no mark. Kaczynski attacks it hard. We'll have a bounce. Nearing red time. The captain for Geelong has a breather. It's a killer by two points. Only one goal kicked in the quarter. It won't be a long term. That goal kicked by Hawkins early in the piece. Ottens yep. the tap at the back door was Enright to Corey. Scrubs a kick to half forward. Here's Burns. Puts the foot on the accelerator and kicks it beautifully to Mooney, who got both hands on it but spilt the beans. Good use of the body by Dawson. Now Mooney has another crack. Taps it to Chapman. Chapman over to Rook. Max Rook on the left boot. Max Rook has kicked the goal. Touched on the line. Oh. It is touched on the line. Stevie Baker touched it, pressed the post. One point the difference. Back at half forward, Shannon Burns has done Raf Clark this quarter three times in a yep. genuine one on one. It's a worry. Oh, it couldn't happen again, could it? Some killer by one point. Here comes Revolt. Oh. oh, mighty effort. But his man's on his feet. Taylor to Chapman. He's got men loose. One of them is Selwood, and he's 45 from home and should at least level the scores. Oh, everyone pauses for breath. Not least Joel Selwood needs to steady himself, find composure, balance, and a straight kick. From just inside 50, it's hooked. A behind wouldn't be a bad result. He gets it and scores a level. The two teams have met 202 times in their history and never played a draw. So doing the kicking in is Nick Dal Santo. He gets maximum metres for his team. The big pack fly front and centre was McWalter. Gives the handball to Montagna to half forward Kaczynski. Can't take the diving mark. Desperate stuff from Scarlett. Corey's played a ripping last quarter. It was a brave handball into a pot of Saints. One of them was Schneider. He's immediately dispossessed. And we'll have another bounce slightly into St Kilda's attacking half. Into red time. Scores level in the grand final of 2009. Blake's been moved on to uh, Shannon Burns. Luke, you called it. Well done. Take away to Selwood, but had no one out there to give it to. Oh, tremendous smother coming from Mackey. Brilliant effort. But again, the hand pass doesn't hit a target. Ablett roving to Rook. And that's a good result for the Cats, who have it just outside their 50. With no more than five minutes left in the grand final, the scores are level. It hangs on the knife edge. Jones for the Saints. Goddard. And another throw in. Again, around these clearance situations, Ablett's the man. We know that he's almost untackleable. Can they get the footy into his hands? Keep an eye on him. There he is, right at the front. Is there a Barry Breen out there on either side? And hung in the air. Mill now for Jones. Left footer. Finds his left side and tried to banana it. Camped under the ball, Taylor, who's done a sterling job for the Cats. Taylor chips short. And the mark's taken by Enright. Who goes into the corridor? Oh, almost into Ablett's the corridor. Out. Oh, he's yeah, out. he is. Johnson, can he pop it over the top? Ablett somehow has found some space. Oh. At the last minute, Zach Dawson spills it. But a clever soccer by Scarlett to Ablett from 80 metres. He drills it long to the tip of the goal square. Big flyers wanted. Varco, handball's over. It's a snap by Chapman. And Chapman's kicked the goal. Terrific play here by Scarlett, just to volley it off the boot to him.
Cometh the second, cometh the man, cometh the men. Ablett, Chapman, Geelong a goal in front. Still time for the Saints. They need two scores now if they're to win the game today. They haven't kicked a goal in the last quarter. Big play from Ablett, rolled the dice then. Jones went forward, he ran 100 metres the other way. Hayes climbs in, but Corey bangs it back. Out wide, Mackey leads the race. Goddard with him, Mackey went for the line and is given permission to do it by the umpire. Not long left, perhaps a couple of minutes for the Saints to prize it back. Two Ruckman come on, get set for this uh, boundary throw in. So another stoppage. She, uh, Brad Ottens, he's only got about four minutes of uh, play to go. He's just have to push himself against Gardner. Schneider tries to tap it to Del Santo. Ling happy to see it over the line. Into time on. The Chapman goal has put Geelong in front by six points. He's third for the afternoon. Yeah, the runner's gone out to Kaczynski, told him to come onto the ball. Selwood's kick went straight to Graham, who's one of the best on the ground. Diving mark was unsuccessful by Corey. Dempster ridden into the ground by Scarlett. Keeps the football alive. Milburn happy to see it over. No chance, no chance. Inside 50 for St Kilda. Nick Reebok, the captain, has just cleared everyone out. He's just said, give me space. I'm the man to get the goal for us. Crowd of 99,251. St Kilda needing two scores. They have little time in which to achieve them. Ablett had it and lost it. Cats want to hold it in. They are just soaking up seconds. And every second counts. There will be play on. And Ablett drives Geelong forward. That might be the winner. Rook up. Varko and Burns down. Rook. Varko running for him. Rook's kick. Saints cover. Still a chance for Rook. Another score and it's Geelong's game. Rook off the ground. There's seven points up. And surely that'll do it. St Kilda need two goals and I don't know that they've got the time to do it. Gilbert plays on straight away. Short kick is unsuccess unsuccessful to McQualter. Picked up by Mackey. Back to Chapman who throws it on the boot into the pocket. Gilbert underneath it. Burns knocks it over the line. It's been good Burns in this final quarter. He uh, outran Raph Clark. Contested well. Got a stoppage in their forward pocket. I reckon Ross Lyon knows it's gone. Throw in Kaczynski. Taken by Bartel to Johnson. Back over the line it goes for another throw in. Right afternoon, Stevie Johnson. Should pay a lot of credit as well to Baker, who has really just given him no space at all. Knocked forward by Fisher. Back of the Packers, Kelly. Kicks it into the pocket again. Blake wow. desperate. No mark. Trickles over the line. Kelly's been quite outstanding at halfback. There can only be seconds left. Two Ruckman here. Kaczynski, Gardner up against Ottens. St Kilda need magically quick movement and they're not going to get it. The Cats intent on tying them up. And the Cats' moment of vindication is nigh. St Kilda beaten only twice during the year by a grand total of seven points. Find themselves seven points down. A St Kilda free kick. Kaczynski to take it. He will run and he'll go as long as he possibly can. Revolt is there. And down is Milne. The goal is unguarded. But the first man there will be Scarlett. And he'll defend for his life. And he'll concede a behind. Ooh, ooh. And who knows now? <laughs> Pressure on this kick. Important kick. Unbelievable. In. Got to get down there, Saints, and cover. So Darren Milburn. This is a big kick in. Is it what? Got to go long, doesn't he? You've got to get it as far out of there as you can. Long and down the line. Milburn loads up. Yours. Revolt almost smothered it. Long ball. Taylor! Magnificent mark! That is a ripping it, mark. It. It's the Leo Barry, Bob Murray Lyon. moment. <laughs> Lyon, Lyon, He's been told Lyon. to go. There's Taylor George, handballs George. to Ottens. 
And he gives to Selwood. What a grand young player he is. And Ling gives Geelong the territory they want. Rook and Fisher burns. It hangs for Mooney. Poking it in the Rook direction. And he can go back. And he can have a shot. And surely any score will do it now. Wonderful kick by Mooney. It's over. The Cats. Vindication has arrived. They have won their second in three years. But what a fight it was. What a wonderful, gruelling, magnificent fight it was. Two out of three ain't bad. Max Rook's having the shot. With bodies lying all over the MCG turf. And with no one on the mark, he runs it home for a goal. And the Cats win by 12 points if the margin counts. What a match. Tommy Harley, there's hugs, there's tears. Second time premiership captain. Oh, un unbelievable, I mean, just an amazing year and terrific effort by um, secured. I don't know what to say, a dirty day for myself, but it's all about the team today, it's unbelievable. What about those closing minutes, mate? Gaz Free on his own, got it down to Chappie. He was there by himself, Harry Taylor's mark at the end, and then just unbelievable scenes, really. Just an unbelievable day. It was so tight. The weather was on, the weather was off. You said to the boys going out today, just keep calm, stick to our team plan, and we'll be right. Yeah, we had to do that. It was just um, stick to your processes, all those sort of cliches, and, you know, unbelievable win. Unbelievable. Go get amongst us, Skipper. Well done. Well, unbelievable scenes down here. What a week it's been. Um, how are you feeling right now? I don't know, mate. I don't know how to explain it. It's, uh, it's been a tough year, and very disappointing you last year and it's no better feeling mate. The Brownlow on Monday night, the grand final here, I mean that's all going to be written about and talked about but this was about the team and this is about what you blokes are setting out to achieve. Everybody in footy knows how great you blokes have been. Right from the end of the grand final last year, this was the only thing that really mattered to you blokes, wasn't it? Coming back here and winning this game. It definitely was. As I said, you know, it was, it was a big challenge for us this year. We were very, obviously very disappointed with last year and and, um, you know, we lost our form a bit there in the middle of the season and um, we really stuck together and got things right and got the premiership. It's great. And you reckon there's another one in you blokes? This group will stay together. There's another flag to come from you blokes. It can, you can come back and do it again. I think, I, I think we've got the talent to do it, but we'll be, we'll be enjoying this one first. Right, awesome stuff. Well done to you, Gary. Good on you. Over to you, Howie. Paul oh, Chapman, you've got the premiership and I just saw you get a big kiss from Cam Mooney as the coach comes in. Hey, oh, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, well, what a game. It was a great game and, you know, the Saints were fantastic. And, you know, Bomber said to us in the last quarter, you know, this will be one of the greatest quarters you'll ever remember if we get up and we win. And there's no doubt about that. It sure is. And what can I say? I'm speechless. It's, uh, you know, it's what you put all the hard work in for. And, you know, uh, look, after last year and losing and how disappointing that was, you know, we didn't want to go through that again. And you feel for the Saints that... Um, Unbloody believable. <laughs> Tell us about those dying moments, mate. The ball's in your hand, the match-winning goal in a grand final. I couldn't believe it. I just got the ball and, and threw it on the boot and it went through. And uh, uh, It's something you dream of. It wasn't after Siren or anything, but, you know, to put us in front, it's a great feeling, and I was just willing for the Siren to go after that. And What a great feeling. Jeez, I'm speechless. Good on you, mate. Andy Ma. Thanks, Howie. Cameron Ling just keeps saying the greatest feeling ever. The greatest feeling ever. Why wouldn't he be saying it? He's with the coach right now. What a magnificent performance. Tell us, tell us, why, how, how, why is it the greatest feeling ever? Oh, they, they're, they're a fantastic footy team, St Kilda. It was a great game of footy, just hard, contested, I suppose, the way grand final should be. And, uh, the boys just amazing team performance. Like, it wasn't about any individuals, it wasn't about any superstars out there, it was just all about a team effort. You've all wanted to write your own history and you've deserved what you got today, you've deserved what you got. What about the way you won it? I mean, the way you won it, there was no soft opponent, you didn't streak them by 20 goals, you had to fight and claw and come from behind all the day today. Oh mate, that's, yeah, and that's what makes it even better, I think. Uh, as I said, St Kilda are a fantastic football team. They play footy the right way, nice and hard too, like us. And oh, <laughs> oh, I'm that happy. Oh, I never dreamed I'd ever win one premiership, to be honest, Andy, but uh, to win two, mate, this, this is the greatest thing on earth. And, mate, you're the heart and soul of the team. One of the great things about this joint is you all seem to be mates. There's a great bond amongst the lot of you. Is that the way it actually is? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we all, we've all got that real deep respect for each other, that love and care for each other, and 
I suppose it's games like that 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 sort of comes out. And uh, just just looking around at some of these guys, I'm lucky enough to play with. Uh, I'm just I'm just happy to be part of this team. Really awesome stuff. Well done. Over to you, Howie. Tommy Hawkins. These boys have been through it before. You haven't. I saw you wiping away a tear there, mate. Just an incredible occasion. Yeah, it is. You know, from, excuse, Tommy. excuse language. What a special day it is. Um, hey, this is. It's just amazing. I couldn't have ever dreamt it. You know, I'm just, just wrapped. So, so happy for everyone. You know, Geelong Footy Club. They're a great club, and yeah, it's just great to be a part of it. A couple of crunch moments to you, mate. That last quarter, the first guy of the last quarter, just an absolute beauty. Yeah. Oh, look, it's. I don't know. The wind helped me out a bit. My kicks usually go that way, and it just stays straight. And, yeah, I don't know what to say, just the sell through, which I was very happy about. Ever since the first time you pulled the boots on, mate, played the Oz kick, this is what you're hoping to do. What's it like out here? Oh, it's unbelievable. It uh, sort of just late in the week, it started to sink in that it was playing in the grand final, and you know, I was nervous today, but um, you know, we've got, we've got such a great experience, club and players and, and coaches and everything, and they, they work through it well, and uh, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Get in there, mate. Well done. Andy Ma. Thanks, Howie. Matthew Scarlett, champion fullback. Sometimes there's moments in games of footy when you just got to go and you went in the middle of the ground, you bumped the ball over, it went down, Chapman kicks a goal. What what do you think in at a moment like that in a game like this? I don't know, mate. I saw the ball and I thought I'd better go get it and uh, did a nice Palais move to Gaz there and we got a goal. So luckily it paid off, mate. It's just the best feeling in the world. We deserve this for... Um, we go down as one of the greatest sides in the history of the game, mate. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable feeling. It feels better than uh, 207. We've had to work so much harder this year for this. And just the character of the guys. And uh, I just love them, mate. I love our footy club. You're a great bunch of blokes. You're a great bunch of mates. We're just talking to Cameron Ling about that. That's the thing that you must believe sets you blokes apart. Oh, mate, how can you not respect the guys? We've got Lingy, Joel Selwood and Bartel. And just got a lot of faith in each other. And, mate, I love these guys there. Showed our true character today, the, the true Geelong Football Club. I know you're a student of American sport, you love it. Words like redemption and those sorts of words are the words that mean a lot to American athletes. And we don't build things up in Australia. We like to keep it pretty low key. But this was super important for you blokes today to get what you must believe internally you deserve. Yeah, definitely. We're never going to get last year back. It's just going to hurt for the rest of our lives. But, you know, we put ourselves in a great opportunity to, to win a flag this year. We come back to pre-season training. Um, always looking forward. We weren't talking about last year too much and put in the hard yards and, mate, we get this reward. It's just unbelievable. Right, super performance, super team. Well done. Good on you. There's Cameron Ling down there with Matthew Stokes, the man, unfortunately, who missed out this year. And I can't remember which player it was, uh, Rob, but they, they mentioned the point. They are a very good football side. Now they will be regarded as one of the great teams of the modern era. Absolutely, quarters. That's what they needed to do. It's official now. They are a great football team and deservedly so. I just love the way that they play. And you know what, Luke, just about everyone interviewed out there gave credit to the St Kilda Football Club too. They're, they're a modest group. Uh, they, they appreciate the opposition and the way that St Kilda play. Well done to the Saints, but Geelong, it's your day, it's your premiership. Two out of three, and they're not finished yet. They're all class. The way they handled 2007 as well, quarters was outstanding. In the three-year period, they won 86.5% of games. To convert that into two premierships is just about what they deserve. I'm glad I'm not on the voting panel for the North oh, Smith gee, I reckon Chapman must be a big chance. Three goals uh, and finished with 26 disposals. He's my man. I think he's Malcolm Blight's man as well uh, behind us, and I tend to agree with him. So the Cats have won by 12 points in front of a crowd of 99,251. And it was a day where neither side deserved to lose. Even before the game started, by the end of it, it was truer than ever, and yet St Kilda has lost, and we all spare a thought for the Saints. They've been magnificent from uh, the start of the season till the final siren in the grand final. So let's now go down for the official presentation, and once again welcome the AFL's MC, Craig Willis. Ladies and gentlemen, as we commence our formal presentations, we'd firstly like to acknowledge and thank our premier partner, Toyota, represented today by Mr. David Butner, Senior Executive Director of Sales and Marketing for Toyota. Toyota, thank you for the wonderful support that you give our great game, not only during the home and away season, during the finals, but of course here on Grand Final Day. Well, the Saints have had a magnificent season. They were gallant in defeat today in very tough conditions. Would you please welcome their captain, Nick Revolt, to say a few words.